What's going on people? Welcome back to your network, the Huxon Network. Today's reaction video, a woman is asking, why haven't men evolved? Now, this video is very important as I need you guys to join in the discussion. I need you to answer the questions that we're about to listen to. But for me, I'm going to take a different angle to give a different perspective. But not only that, I have receipts as to why to help the answers that you guys give, right? It'll be all centered around the same subject. Now, before we get started, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I have a question for the men, and this is me coming to you all, genuinely wanting to know you all's answers. I'm not looking to argue. I'm not looking to belittle your emotions and your answers. I really want to better understand. And my question is, for men as a collective, why does it appear like you all are resistant to evolving the definition of what it means to be a man while simultaneously hating the effects and the results and consequences of abiding by what it means to be a man. What I mean by this is to be a man in our society, you can't show emotions. You're only good for what you can provide monetarily and physically. Um, you're valued for what you can do and not who you are. There are so many things you can do that make you appear off as sus or even gay that very constricting confined box of what it means to be a man is what you all complain all, a lot about hating to have to execute and live up to but when it is encouraged for you all to evolve beyond that there's resistance and it's encouraged for you all to do the work to become more emotionally intelligent and aware of your emotions when it is encouraged for you all to put forth effort to be able to bring more to the table than just monetary providing or physical providing. Why is that met with resistance and doubling down on this archaic definition of manhood? Because I see you all complain about men being lonely. I see you all complain about, uh, you know, how isolated you feel and how frustrating it is and how constricting it is to be a man in this society. So I would think that the collective of you all would want to do whatever it would take to be able to evolve beyond what you've been told this entire time of what it means to be a man. But as a collective, I'm witnessing more doubling down on it than evolving beyond it and I don't understand why. Is there a fear that is rooted in not wanting to be wrong as far as evolving beyond this definition? Is the double down rooted in a stubbornness of not wanting women and other people to be right? I'm just having a hard time understanding why you all seem to be so devoted to a concept that is simultaneously killing y'all mentally, physically, and emotionally. I'd like to know why you all are so resistant to change. All right, follow me real quick. I want to attack this from another angle, right? As we go through the motions of being in a relationship, right? Some of us are just going through the natural progressions, right? But to the other person, whomever that may be, they may be looking at it from a different perspective. So let's say a narcissist, a person that will use tears and blame and use manipulation to turn things around. This is their language, right? So if they see you crying, they may interpret that as you using their tactic against them, correct? But the person who's doing the crying or doing the, um, doing the expressing doesn't know that this is how the narcissist or the other person is reading this, okay? So when women say, be more open, you know, be more vulnerable, sometimes that could be a tactic to, I haven't found a way to break you yet. I haven't found an opening. I haven't found an opening to your defense and I need you to weaken your defense for me so I may destroy you. Now, the other person that's doing the venting and stuff like that may not be looking at it as this person is trying to destroy me, but instead listening to their advice says, yeah, maybe I should be more opening. But the whole time this person could be having it out to I need to bring chaos into this person's life. And that's something that these women disregard when processing 
and thinking, and even the men, because they don't think that she is trying to make me vulnerable so she can set me up, so she can destroy me. Now, as we continue on in this video, I will demonstrate, I will show you what I'm talking about, but let's continue. No, but it's one true. Minute, one minute. Oh, we're the provider. We're supposed to give this. Don't come to us about your feelings. But then, and the next minute, it's. Okay. But we you don't have care feelings. about our feelings. Hold on a second. Oh, we, da, 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 da. Hold like, on a second. Make I it make sense. You, There's yeah. levels it's to very, this. Yeah. It's very. Specific. No woman wants a man that's gonna come crying every day at home, bro. Wow. Guys, 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 guys. You just proved my point. Girls don't want a man crying to them. No, remember I, I said it. Hey, hold on. Remember I said to you, girls don't want a man crying to them, and they lied on social media. Yeah, she just said it, guys. No, we got. Wait, hold on yet. a second. She just said it. We don't want a man crying. Yeah. She's a poop. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Women do not care about your mental health, men. It's yeah. trying to stop do not it. Listen to what they say. No, no, no. Listen, guys, guys. Can do not I elaborate? Listen to what they say. Watch what they yeah, do, and what she simply said there is, we don't want a man crying to us every night. And all the times I've said to men is, do not cry to your women; they will use it against you. Do not cry to your women, and she just proved it because when they hold on a second, when they get in their feelings, they pull it out. Go and say what you're gonna say. Don't laugh, Jack. Don't. Oh, yeah, Jack. Now, this is the video that really sums it up and explains it all on why and to quickly answer the question men have evolved right women have stopped listening to men for the longest time they they don't hear what men say what men like what men don't like it's not it's not about men anymore so men have changed how they approach the game by going their own way right by being a passport bro right by traveling, by seeing other pastors, by working on themselves, by turning their attention to other things rather than what a woman wants because it's all about reciprocation. Men have been telling women for the longest what it is. But let's get into this right here, right? This this little clip speaks volumes. Now, I can't play the song. I mean, well, I can't play the video because it has music behind it. But she goes on to say... I'm addicted to making lame man cry and then showcased a guy crying on the phone, exposing him. Right. So she says she gets off on making lame man cry. Cool. Cool. No problem. But we all know where people are the most comfortable in the comment section and the beauty of about women in the comment section when they all group up and they have their little locker room talk, right? Which they hate what men do, right? Locker room talk. But the comment section is locker room talk for women. But let's get into some of these comments. Palestine Penguin says, when will it be my turn to make lame man cry? And who, how do you categorize what's lame? You just Throw a title on him? No, no, no. That is a man crying that you get off on. This girl right here, she says, tutorial, please. Tutorial on how to break men, right? This other girl says, I have so many videos of men crying. I could do this if I want to be messy. Vixen says, you just made my day. Thanks. Yes, says cackling no cuz tell me why my friend told me she made a guy cry he sent her a voice memo and she let me listen and i started howling it was so funny breaking men is funny right but why won't man be vulnerable because you guys keep it as little treasure troves to then show your friends furthering damaging a man taryn says Made my day better. Thank you. Lenore says, Receipts is crazy. I love you for this. Hannah says, TikTok asked if this was appropriate. I chose yes and said it was entertaining. Amy says, You are my hero. Raquel says, God, I love this app. Lost Dog says, Okay, I want to do this now. And I can go on and on down that comment section. Of how women get off on man's emotions. Men cry. Men are vulnerable. But in silence. In darkness. And men have evolved. 
you just don't recognize the evolvement. It's not what you dictate how they should and shouldn't evolve. It's not what you recognize. It's a different language. But men have evolved. But there you go. There's your receipts. Everybody in the comment section, I hope you put down why the reasons on vulnerability and crying and and all that. I hope we got something from this video, but this was a good discussion. I hope it answered women's questions. But again, you guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe along the way. We have plenty more discussions coming through, and I always try to come with receipts because we're not just talking heads. We're not just out here just spewing crap, right? We want to make a difference. We want things to get better. It comes down to what we're dealing with so we can navigate people better because life is good. Life itself is good, but people, people using your vulnerability as a man, as trophy troves to show other people so they could sit back and laugh at you. That's the problem. People are the problem. But you guys take care and I'll see you on the next one.